The learning objective of this short webcast is to discuss a general formula for wood shrinkage or swelling. First, we're going to talk about the relationship between shrinkage and moisture content. Let's look at the typical diagram below. In uh, wood can experience shrinkage in longitudinal direction, radial direction, or tangential direction. In the graph below FSP, which is 30, the shrinkage in longitudinal direction is very small, 0.2% minimal. In the radial direction, the shrinkage um, from FSP to oven dry is 5%. The most um, shrinkage effect due to moisture content change is on the um, tangential direction. This line shows that above the FSP there is no effect zone. Above the FSP the moisture content does not affect the dimension of the wood. Now let's look at the general formula for wood shrinkage or swelling. XMC equals to XFSP multiplied by 1 minus rate of change of um, dimension in percentage divided by 100 multiplied by FSP minus moisture content initial or final where XMC is the dimension below FSP and XFSP is the green dimension or weight dimension of the wood. MCI uh, initial we mean when you are experiencing swelling or a moisture content is increasing. MCF we're gonna use either of those either MCI or MCF so we're gonna use MCF if our moisture content is dropping below FSP uh, from a given moisture content. Next we're gonna take some notes in the scenario where some data is not given so if it's FSP is not provided according to USDA US Department of Agriculture Wood Handbook we can assume FSP as 30 percent we have to understand that moisture content above FSP has no effect on dimension so if my FSP is 30 if my moisture content drops from 50 to 27 only the difference below 30 so 30 to 27 change will have the effect on dimension above 30 it doesn't work another thing if moisture content increases it will happen swelling if moisture content decreases our wood will experience shrinkage. For glue lamp beam, um, we have to assume 1% shrinkage relative to green dimension. Green dimension is the wet dimension or the manufactured dimension or the cut down dimension, the first cut uh, that the production made uh, to per 5%. Uh, change in moisture content um, this is according to uh, American institu institution of timber construction now let's do an example using the general formula uh, that we just uh, derived um, in a glue lamp beam the manufactured dimension is 12 inch at that moment the moisture content was 14 percent the question asks, what would be the dimension if the moisture content raises up to 30 35 percent to start the problem first we know the moisture content is increasing so it will have swelling fsp is not given so we assume 30 percent and the change rate is not given so we assume one percent change in dimension per 5% change in moisture content. 
now we have our equation we put the rate 1 par 5 moisture content over 100 now here we see you see we use 30 but not 35 because um, above FSP there is no effect so we use 30 and um, the initial moisture content that was 14 now which one we are looking for XMC or XFSP for swelling we would be looking for FSP because this moisture content is given XMC moisture content at current um, dimension at current moisture content 12 inch is given so if I find X FSP if we do the calculation we will find the swelled dimension is 12.44 inch another advantage of this equation is that we don't have to worry about the dimension of XMC or FSP if if this XMC is given in millimeter or inch or centimeter the F X FSP you will also get in the same dimension in millimeter inch or centimeter and vice versa so um, that was the, our example so we have talked about the general formula and some notes if our data is not given and what to assume and how to find swelling or shrinkage so if we have shrinkage only thing we have to change here is that I here we'll plug the final um, shrinkage from that could be above FSP or from below FSP to a lower moisture content and instead of finding XFSP we'll be looking for XMC and we will start with the dimension at FSP will be given for more we also have um, solved another example for finding the shrinkage I suggest that you can watch that video thank you